Hi. Recently, the famous toy manufacturer LEGO announced a challenge called Let's Build Together a Rainbow as a Symbol of Hope. The competition is primarily for children, but of course veterans like me can also join it. I'll use this opportunity to demonstrate to you how you can create Internet of Things out of your LEGO creations. In this video, I'm going to build a simple rainbow from LEGO bricks and connect it to the open source software Home Assistant so that I can control it from my computer or my smartphone. The required hardware includes, of course, LEGO bricks, Anavi Miracle controller, WS2812B addressable LED strip, and an instance of Home Assistant. All LEGO pieces that I'm using for this creation are from LEGO Classic Large Creative Brick Box. It contains more than 700 pieces and it's appropriate for any age above 4. Obviously, that includes me too. WS2812B is an addressable LED strip that operates at 5 volts. I need an appropriate controller for it as well as 5 volt power supply. The right board for this purpose is the open source hardware Anavi Miracle Controller. Although the board has many features, including to manage simultaneously two addressable LED strips, in this particular case we're gonna use it with just a single LED strip. Using an appropriate connector with a choke resistor, I have already connected this digital LED strip to the controller. Now comes the fun part. Let's build together a LEGO rainbow using the bricks that are available. We're gonna use several colors starting from pink, purple, after that with blue, green, yellow, orange, and finally red. At the bottom of our creation, I'm going to place the LED strip. Therefore, the color of the first LEGO row doesn't matter much and I'm using any bricks that are available. It has been a while since I played with LEGO bricks, so sorry, but I've missed some of my skills. After a few minutes, I have my rainbow ready. The LED strip goes in front of it and Anavi Miracle Controller is placed behind the rainbow. Anavi Miracle Controller is a developer board that comes with an open source firmware which is already compatible with Home Assistant and support automatic discovery over the MQTT protocol. I have already gone through the setup of this particular board. If you're interested in the details, I have another video that goes through the whole procedure. Because this particular board has been already pre-configured before shooting this video, as soon as I turn it on, it connects to my Wi-Fi network and after that to my Home Assistant instance and start to work. I cut an LED strip with 14 LEDs in order to match the length of the LEGO creation that I have here. Each LED on this digital strip is individually addressable, which means that I can set a particular color for any of the 14 LEDs. Out of the box, the default open source firmware on Anavi Miracle Controller supports several patterns. The default pattern is rainbow from the web UI of Home Assistant or through the mobile application of Home Assistant, I can change these patterns at this example, I'm using the Home Assistant application for Android, which I have installed on my smartphone. Through the user-friendly interface, I have a full control of the LED strip and I can change the animation with the preset patterns or set a solid color. I can do exactly the same from the web interface of Home Assistant on my computer. All I need is just a modern web browser. In order to have everything working as smoothly as you see it, the firmware on Anavi Miracle Controller implements the specifications defined by Home Assistant for the so-called MQTT light component using JSON payload of the messages exchanged between Anavi Light Controller and the instance of Home Assistant. Of course, for the user, everything happens in the background, so you don't need deep technical knowledge to use it. The effects from this addressable WS2812B LED strip are particularly beautiful when it's dark. 
I waited for the sunset and when it was darker in the room I made another video to demonstrate it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's go quickly through all effects. And by the way, if you're not familiar with Home Assistant, give it a try. It is an awesome open source home automation platform written in Python that runs perfectly well on a Raspberry Pi. I'm using it on a Raspberry Pi 3. Home Assistant has an excellent documentation which will guide you through the steps how to get started. On my YouTube channel, I have already published numerous videos to explain how to use Anavi Miracle Controller and some of my other open source hardware boards with Home Assistant. If you're curious and you would like to reproduce this setup, please have a look at the description of the video to learn more. If you have any questions, please write the comment below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for new videos.